Hi everyone, this is Heather Smith with Storyville Photography and today I'm going to show you how to achieve this eerie edit of my children for Halloween. I took this image at sunset so the golden hour was coming in really strong and I had a nice even lighting. I just loved it. I used the Canon R5 and 200mm 2.0 f lens. My settings were 2.2 f, 320 ISO and 1000 shutter speed. I first opened the image into Lightroom and applied the Simplicity One preset, warmed up the image and pulled the shadows all the way up. And then I brought it into Photoshop. So again, this is where we will end up and this is where we will get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that down. And the first thing I wanna do is run the painterly action. So I'm coming over to my actions panel and I'm gonna hit play. And I'm gonna turn the base down to about 50%. stuck okay make sure I clicked on the white layer mask black brush make sure it's soft 100% opacity and I'm just gonna come over and wipe it off of their features buttons anywhere I don't want it their limbs <laughs> they actually love this photo shoot guys I was like a little hesitant on posting it but it's just Halloween fun and my kids love Halloween just as much as I do they were cracking up the whole time so that's the before and after with the painterly effect. I love what it does to the grass and the outfits and the hair. I just love it. And the next thing I want to do is turn my daughter's dress into like this teal green. I feel like they're too matchy matchy there. So I'm going to come into my adjustments, the hue and saturation. I'm going to pick this little dropper guy and grab the blues there. And I'm going to turn this down to where my eye likes it. I think like around 39, 40 is good. Turn the saturation down. And then I want to also darken the dress. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the lightness down. And that's the before and after. I want my son's uh, coat to remain blue. So I'm going to grab the soft black brush, 100% opacity. And I'm just going to bring back the blue color on his jacket. There we go. And now they're not too matchy-matchy. They each have their own color that stands out. Now I'm going to come back into my actions. And I'm going to find the ultimate dodge and burn. One of my favorites, as you all know probably by now. I'm going to open up the, the big group there. And I'm going to first click on the desaturate. And I'm going to hit command I while selecting the black mask. So it will desaturate the whole image. I'm going to crank it up because I want it kind of like... I don't know, a little bit muted, kind of vague for this image, the tones in the background. And then I'm going to completely wipe it off of their skin and their clothes. Take your time if you're printing. I'm going to also mask it off of the ground. Okay. And then I'm going to do the extra burn and I'm going to invert that as well. And I'm going to completely mask it off of their face with a black brush and their hands, arms, whatever. Again, take your time with the masking. And I'm going to come over to the extra dodge and turn the opacity of my brush down and just slightly bring back some of the brightness in the background. So the highlights pop a little. Oop, it would help if I switched to my white brush. So I'm using a black mask and that looks good. I am done with the environment. Let me close it and show you the before and after. And then I'm going to come on down to the dodge and burn skin and hair. Because I have three subjects, I want to be able to dodge and burn exactly how I want on their faces and then make adjustments to the opacity as I see fit. So I'm going to go ahead and copy uh, one of the burn layers. So I'll have three by hitting command J in one of the dodge, command J. And then I want to move my dodge and burn so they're grouped um, together for each of my children. So burn, dodge, burn, dodge, burn, dodge. You don't have to do this. This is just how I stay organized without having to retitle, um, you know, what is what. It, I just find it easier. Okay, 100% opacity, soft white brush, and I'm just going to come on over to Kendall in here. And I'm going to go around the outside of her face. 
over her eyebrows, bring out those dark circles on her eyes, highlight her nose. There we go. And then the next thing I want to do is I want it to even be more intense. So I'm going to make a copy of that background layer. So we'll duplicate exactly where I burned. I'm going to turn that all the way down and then kind of crank it to where my eye likes it. We really want them kind of eerie looking. And then with that, I'm going to come over here and just dodge her skin or burn her skin a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to come over to the dodge and it's going to come on really strong, but I'm going to tone it down as well. I like to see where I'm painting over the eyes. There we go. Neck. Hands. Okay. A little bit there. Turn it all the way down and increase it to where I like it. And that looks good to me there. Okay. Now it's Weston's turn. Gonna select the burn again and I'm just gonna go over the outside of his face. You can increase or decrease the size of the brush using your bracket keys. Find it really helpful. And then I'm just repeating the same process as I did with my daughter. And then I'm going to make another copy of that, Command J, and I'm going to turn it down and then just increase it to where my eye likes it. And with this, I'm going to run over his hair, darken that up a little bit. Okay. And then dodge. Okay, try not to spend too much time, guys. Sorry if it's taken a little bit here. Okay, there we go for him. A little bit on his hands. And last but not least, Miss Savannah over here. Gonna do the burn. Normally, if I was doing a not creepy portrait, I wouldn't be trying to make their um, under eyes more intense, <laughs> guys. Um, this is just because it's supposed to be creepy. Okay. Copying that. There we go. Dodge. Oops. So zoning out, we have completed the face before and after, and you can almost change like the structure of their face with the dodge and burn too. Now I'm going to come over here and do the extra dodge. For this, I'm going to just uh, use one. I'm not going to duplicate for each kid, but you can if you'd like. Get the baby baby doll that is, that's not a real baby. And my daughter loved that we incorporated a baby doll. She's obsessed with them. They play babies all the time and it's the cutest thing. Okay, and then I wanna come up here to the brush opacity and turn it down to about, I don't know, 30%. Select the black brush and where it was too bright, kind of mask a little bit off. And then I'm going to come over to the extra burn, 100% opacity, back to my white brush because we're using a black mask, and run it over, make them a little bit more dingy looking. Okay, that's the before and after. Let me group it all together for you. So just using the dodge and burn, look at that transformation. Now I want to make their eyes black. 
kind of adds to the creepiness. So black brush, I'm going to switch my blending mode to soft light. And I'm just going to paint on black. Take your time with masking, guys, or painting if you are printing or doing it for a client. There we go. And I'm going to turn it down just a smidge. Okay, super creepy. Love it. You can even, if you want to take it a step further, I'm going to decrease my brush a little bit and go over the lips. Kind of make them more purpley, a little bit more under the eyes. Really creepify them. Before and after. Okay. Now, her face is just a little bit too bright. She was more in the sun than my other two kids. So I'm just going to reduce some of the red in it to help her balance out and look like she fits into the image a little bit more. So I turned that down. I just grabbed a hue and saturation layer, went to the reds. I'm going to invert it by hitting Command I on the mask. And I'm going to paint on at 100% opacity and go over her face there. And that looks good. It's all about details, guys. And now I'm going to have to add a little bit of atmosphere to the background, which is so fun. I'm going to come on over to my smoke brushes, and they're actually free all of the month of October. If you're watching this after, I apologize because uh, they are no longer free. So download them all you can. So, um, oh, sorry, I got caught up talking about that. I went into the smoke brushes and I selected the smoke 10. And I'm going to expand it with my bracket key, my left, my right bracket key. Oh, I want to choose the color. So I'm going to hold down the option key and I'm going to pick one of these like orangey golden tones that are in there. And then I'm going to click on it and just lighten it up a little bit. So it's going to kind of blend in with the color scheme we already got in the environment. So I went ahead and um, made the base there and then I'm going to hit command T and you can stretch it out or rearrange it using the free transformation tool. I find it quite helpful. And then I like to decrease the opacity and kind of just increase it to my eye to where my eye likes it that is and that looks good to me. Then I'm going to go ahead and add another layer and I'm going to come back into my brush panel and I want to grab the smoke brush 9, expand it using the right bracket key as big as it will go. And then I'm going to click. I'm going to free transform it again by hitting Command T. And I'm going to hold down the shift so I can stretch it out a little bit. It's not going to maintain its shape and it doesn't have to. Just want it a little bit bigger. There we go. And then I'm going to also decrease this and slowly increase it to where my eye likes it. And that looks good. Just a little extra something something. I'm going to add a mask to it, black, come back here to my round brushes, 100% opacity, and I'm going to just mask it off of their skin and their clothing really quickly. Okay, so that's the before and after. And then I just want to add some floating particles, so I'm going to come over to my sparkle dust brushes. I made a new layer. And with the same color, I'm just going to kind of, I can get, oh, I'm doing the wrong bracket key. Sorry, guys. I think I've had a little bit too much coffee today, having a harder time focusing than normal. There we go. And it just adds to the creep factor. So anyway, let me group this together for y'all. And before and after. I hope you guys enjoyed. You can find everything I used here over at www.storyvillephotography.com. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.